Welcome back to Prince Hang, I'm Brett Barnett. Today's episode is all about accessory mounting options. Look, as drummers, we're constantly growing our kit size. We're constantly being asked to play more sounds, play more of this, play more of that, as if we don't already have enough sounds on our drum kit as it is. Maybe they need a cowbell sound. Maybe you need to use a tambourine, maybe a jam block, maybe some electronic pads. How do you mount them? Do you use your own, do you use your own cymbal stand to mount one cowbell? That's craziness. I've got some options, so you don't have to do that. First up to bat today, we have the SC4425 D1. SC4425 D1. This is an accessory attachment arm with an L rod that has a 13 inch down tube. Now, this can be added to a cymbal stand, as you can see I've done with a clamp, or it can be added to a rack. Now that it has a 13 inch down tube, you can adjust the height without having to actually adjust the clamp. The mount has a geared tilter that allows you to position it at 360 degrees, and, also, and an eye bolt that also allows you to position the L-rod left to right. The mounting post on the L-rod is 9.5 millimeters, which works with pretty much any eye bolt on any accessory. Up next, we have the SC-170. We, we have, have an SC-170. This is an attachment boom arm with an L-rod, which is very similar to the previous mount we just saw, except that it just has a 16-inch boom arm, and it allows you to position your percussion toys or electronics in much more difficult to reach areas. Easy as pie. It has two geared 360 degree tilters on it, one where the boom attaches to the down tube, and one where the L-rod attaches to the boom. So it gives you multiple angles of positioning. The L-rod has a 9.5 millimeter post, which will work with most eye bolt accessories. Up next, we have the SCPLRA. Yeah, what he said, PLRA. This is the percussion L-rod attachment. Now this is designed to connect percussion toys or electronics directly to an existing 12.7 millimeter boom arm. So you don't have to connect it directly to a stand, you can utilize the boom arm as I've done here off of my ride cymbal. Cause I wanna play a cowbell here, or I wanna play a tambourine here. I've got that option. Now the clamp has two geared 360 degree tilters for, to allow for maximum positioning and a 9.5 millimeter mounting post for an L rod. So I got bored of placing my jam block on the right hand side and I wanted to stick it in between my hi-hat and my tom. So what I did was I took the L rod and I attached it directly to the excess space that my 12 inch tom was added to on the neural post and I've got another placement. For those of you that are in for double the fun, D, 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 D P, 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 P L-L-L-R-R-R-A-A-A-A. Have a look at the SCDP LRA, which is a dual post L-Rod attachment. This thing, I mean this thing's great. I mean you can mount two different accessories at different heights. And you can mount it to a boom arm just like the other one, check it out. It has the same clamp that attaches to a 12.7 millimeter boom arm with two geared tilters for multiple angles of adjustment. It has a U-shaped rod with different length mounting posts so that you can offset your accessories. Next up, we have the SC LRAC. SC LRAC! There's an L-Rod attachment clamp. It's the same L-Rod and same type of clamp that you've seen before, except there is an exception. It doesn't attach to a 12.7 millimeter rod. It attaches directly to a stand. So it's got a C-clamp on the back. It still has two geared tilters and it still has a 9.5 millimeter mounting post for the L-Rod. Now what this is great for is mounting another electronic pad here, or maybe you want to add a, a mountable tambourine, or maybe you want to play a cowbell with your left hand. Who knows? But this gives you an opportunity to mount something directly to a stand as opposed to a boom rod. Okay, okay, I'll move the cowbell over to the cymbal stand. Leave me alone. Now this is the SCDP LAC. And now we're gonna hear some smooth jams from the DP LAC. It has the same dual post U-shaped rod that you've seen on one of the previous models, but it doesn't have an eyeball to connect it to an existing boom arm. You connect this one directly to a stand with the C-clamp. It has two points of adjustment for different angles and um, it allows you to stack different accessories at different heights. This is the SC268R. 268R. And it clamps directly to the bass drum hoop. It comes with its own cowbell rod mount, but you know, if, if you, you already have a cowbell that has an eye bolt on it that will attach to it, I'm not judging. Go ahead and use yours. 
Number two on the list is the SCBDDC. This is the deluxe bass drum cowbell holder. What, what's that? It's, don't tell me. BDDC, that's it. It's very similar to the 268R, but it's the deluxe version, so the clamp is a little bit beefier. The tightening screw attaches from the bottom versus the 268R where the tightening screw tightens from the front. It comes with a cowbell mount attachment in case your cowbell is handheld and you need to attach it to the rod. Last but not least, we have the SC BDHC. This is a bass drum cowbell mount. We are just going cowbell crazy over here, ladies and gentlemen. This is my favorite cowbell mount out of all of them that we have because this one is the most adjustable out of the three. The other two are fixed as, where, as far as where the rod placement is. This cowbell mount is adjustable. It extends and retracts and allows you to place your cowbell at different depths along the bass drum. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I just showed you guys a variety of mounts that you can use to attach percussion accessories to your setup. Now, whichever one you use is all up to you and it depends on what your needs are with your setup. We'll see you next time.